And you just hit something that's key that I never even thought about. You know, sometimes sure. you reach out to your friends like, hey girl, can you pray for me at these things? Yeah. But really to stand together mm -hmm. as one and just believing God for a miracle to manifest. Have you experienced that personally where you had you were standing with a friend or standing yeah. with someone? Can you like just share? We a have story? a great testimony actually of a woman who was at a meeting who was in a walker. She was older, she had a walker, she could barely walk without the walker. And during the morning session, I said, you know, let's just believe that by the end of this conference, you're gonna be completely healed. So she goes to lunch with three or two of her friends and her, um, as she's getting ready to get out of the car, God says to her, will you believe me for the miracle? And so she's like, well, I don't know how, but she asked her two friends, would you help me just get in and out of the restaurant without the walker? Like, I'm just gonna believe God that this is gonna happen. So of course, like she hunches over her friends and they help her get in, nothing happens. She comes out of the restaurant, nothing still happened. She gets back to the afternoon service and she said, well, if I didn't believe God for the morning, let's at least believe him. Like, you know, no, if I didn't believe him at the restaurant, let's believe him for now. So she goes in again with her friends. And during the session, I recognized she doesn't have her walker. And I said, hey, her name was Debbie. I said, hey, Debbie, did you get healed? And she goes, and by faith, she goes, yeah. And she stands up and starts running around the church. And it was so much fun though, because she said, I wouldn't have gotten here had I not been able to lean on my friends. Mm, leaning on your friends and just having yeah. that community is so, so important for our faith. And, you know, Brady, I just want to like even ask you, you know, just I feel like even right now, could you just take a moment to just sure. speak to that person? You can look into that yeah. camera and if you're feeling like just calling out some things yeah. that people may be wrestling with, people sure. are dealing with, to stand in that faith to see miracles manifest. Yeah, I want to just encourage you, you know, maybe you've been struggling with cancer, maybe you've been struggling with lupus, uh, maybe you've been diagnosed with leukemia. You are not those things. That is not your identity. You are a son and daughter of God. And so right now in the name of Jesus, we just release complete healing and restoration to your body. God doesn't just want to heal you of the issue. He wants to completely restore it. We had a woman that came to a meeting. She had 16 broken bones in her leg and hip from an accident. She was a little bit more mature in age. And I want to encourage you by the end of the service, she was walking, she was dancing. She got completely released from physical therapy the next day because they said there's nothing wrong with you anymore. And so I want to encourage you right now if you will just put your faith out and say God I don't even know if I know how to have the faith just ask him for the faith to believe him right now and we're gonna agree with you that today is your day of breakthrough today is your day for a miracle Mm, that is really good. And if you just listed in responding to what Brandy said, you can give us a call at our prayer line at 888-665-4483. We always have prayer partners that are standing five that will agree in faith with you because we cannot do this alone. And we know, Brandy, that God wants all of us to experience yes. the miraculous power of God. Why would why would you say? Because I think there's, you know, I know I'm, I'm a millennial. What generation are you? Millennial. Oh, we're both millennials. Yay. Yes. So I feel like especially in our generation, it's just like we want to see it happen. Mm -hmm. We want to see it manifest. We want to see Bible like never before. What would you say is sort of hindering and holding it back from seeing God's power just dumped out and his glory manifest yeah. like never before? Well, I think one of the big things is we all have to be in a place where we can carry it, right? Because character is so important. We don't ever want our anointing to outweigh our character. And so with that, you know, when it comes to the miraculous, I think a lot of times we've seen people, you know, get this big platform and then they end up falling and it's because their character was never worked out. And so I really believe we're in a season where God is in process of, of redefining and defining all of our character. And he's, he's kind of taking us all through that fire, if you will, so we can actually stand and walk in it. Because think about it for a minute. If you have a situation where, let's say you have someone who doesn't have you know, half of their leg, maybe they're a veteran, and they lost part of their leg in an accident. And during a service, their prosthetic leg, they take off and God regrows a leg. The next day you have a service, you're gonna have a lot of people that are trying to figure out what's happening, right? Mm -hmm. And we need to be in a place so that we don't get enamored with the move of God more so than him. Mm, that's really good because I think people can get so caught up of like the, the gifts and the miracles, but it's just like right. we got to keep our eyes focused and stayed on him. And what I love so much is just how you're so passionate, yeah. you know, for our generation because sure. I, there's so many millennials that are like searching for God, looking for God, want to see him and experience him in such a new way. But what would you say is like important for our generation to remember and what we need to do in walking out and just like experiencing God? Yeah, well, I would say kind of to go on that note, is that we are in a city 
personally in Oklahoma City and in a country really where we have had a lot of, of wise and persuasive words, as Paul said, but not much demonstration of power. And so I think, again, as a generation, we just need to get to a place where we say, God, I want to give it all to you. I want to, you know, I want to pay whatever price I have to pay so that way you're the Lord of my life, not just the Savior of it, because there is a difference. And then as we, we make him the Lord and we really follow and obey him, we're going to see God move in crazy ways.